Hi, my name's Jason, and in this episode, we're going to take this cheap Christmas train. Um, they do non Christmassy stickered versions, but it's exactly the same train. Um, and turn it into a 40k themed mini diorama display that I wanted for my desk at work. So let's make it grim dark. So I started with the Adeptus Titanicus terrain. I'll leave a link um, in the description. I got this one for I think 10 quid from eBay. There is other bits and bobs on my desk that was in my bits box, but I was having a look. Um, especially with these points, I wanted this to look like a classic steam train. So I absolutely love the points on the buildings. Um, so you can see that I've got some odd spruce left. And then there was loads of different parts that I wanted to use from the pipes. Because um, they all just fit really well. And then if you recognise these from the old terrain kits, I absolutely love these and I want to incorporate them as well. I try to incorporate them to everything. Um, when my terrain videos come out in a bit, um, you'll see how I've used these. But yeah, I kind of thought, well, I could, could make a tunnel and put it going through. But I was just trying to figure out and place stuff on. So this is the first part of this video where I'm just going through, picking parts up and just placing them on. Just seeing what would fit where and what. Laid out. Um, I definitely need to leave room for the actual battery. I want this train to be able to go around the track. The irony is, and I'll be honest with you now, I broke one of the bits of the track, so you can't actually see it going round, which I'm gutted about. Um, but it does work. <laughs> I just don't have any track left. Anyway, I've got all these parts out, and you can just see I've spared this up, but I'm just going around to see which bits of pipe fit where and what looks right. I'm just trying to make sure that it is actually equal on each side. Um, yeah, you can see that I'm trying to use my favourite parts there. So this is just a case of putting stuff on, fitting it up and seeing what fits where. And you see I'm just jotting these down. I definitely want to use them. I think they look quite, I don't know, the, the train's quite big, I wanted it to look quite imperial, or a bit like the buildings. So I'm just cutting stuff down and dry fitting it. Um, yeah, I'm unscrewing uh, to get access to the motor as well. Um, it was quite tall. The scale's completely off, and I'll say that throughout this. I think it's nowhere near um, epic scale or titanic scale, the six mil stuff. The tanks look a bit lost, but I'll let you decide. Um, but the actual uh, figures and marines that I painted do look quite in scale, so... Yeah. You can see here that I've found some side panels, the Tamiya thing is out. And I'm just cutting and gluing stuff together. But I think it's really important that we get really good strong side connections here because the battery is going to be popping in and out. Um, I've also got um, a couple of resin guns because I thought it's going to have something big on the top. These are from Vanguard Miniatures and I'll pop the link in. Um, I've used the like Admech from Vanguard. Um, there was a bit of a building kit that I used for the floor and the base and the actual trailers as well so yeah I use the Vanguard stuff for that again I didn't go out and buy anything these were bits that were left over from various stuff when, when I go back into the hobby um, I chose Titanicus um, because Space Marine was one of the first sort of games that I played back in the 90s um, I've sped this up loads but, but you can just see sort of see the process that we're going through 
So yeah, more glue, more sped up. And you can see it slowly coming together. So I've got a basic shell now. The one thing I need to do is make a lid that goes over the motor so it's not going to stop. It's not going to slow it down because you can see that the motor sticks out a tiny little bit and the middle is actually spinning round. So I definitely wanted to make sure that that worked. And just added tiny bits as and where it fit. Um, I really enjoyed doing that. to make uh, the top to go on um, the battery. This needed to come in and out so I could actually get in to replace the battery. So I've just used plastic card. Yeah, I bought these off eBay, they're just blank cards. Um, they were only a couple of pounds, um, very roughly. Um, I hate doing this, so I wish I was more precise and, and I'm sure I'll get there. But you can see how so I measured it up roughly using a Sharpie and cut stuff out. When I've got a tight fit on there, I'm cutting the top tube out, uh, which is one of the pipes, just to make it, again, to make it round, to look like the old fashioned sort of, well, it's a train obviously, but the old fashioned steam trains. And they can see that um, off camera, I've added everything on, um, and I've also magnetized it as well, just so it makes it so much easier, rather than it sliding in. Um, then you can see I'm adding the side sponsons from the metal land raiders and then a bit of liquid green stuff just to tidy everything up. Upgrade time. Um, I've upgraded to a new cutting mat at this point. Um, I quite like the black. Anyway, uh, I digress. Um, there you can see one finished train, very 40k. -y. And then onto the carriages. Um, I use the Vanguard miniature building. Again, I'll leave the link, but you could use anything. You could use plastic art. Um, but I basically just unscrew them. Ready to cut up. The buildings were just perfect size. At this point, I didn't want to cut anything out. Um, so these are like a if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. These um, are like um, a bastion, they're like a defence line, and they just fit together nicely. So again, it was just a case of gluing, putting them together. Then I got a display case um, for a model train. I thought I'd use the base on this. Um, and just use some a bit of foam that I'd left over. Um, to go keep dust free. Bit of a test fit to make sure everything fits. And then it was simply taking some foam using the Vanguard 
packs on top. My idea was that it would be on rock, but then with like a more of a concrete. buffer at the end which is a couple of parts from the Titanicus scenery kit and just pop them together um, and then paint it black with some craft paint nothing particularly exciting about that then it came to priming I had no black primer so I used grey did this with an airbrush, you can use a rattle can or whatever you want to use. Um, I use an airbrush all the time, like I said in my previous video. Um, even when I got into the hobby, in the first week I bought an airbrush and got stuck in. It's a brilliant tool, it, it kind of cheats, but who cares. Um, I love the way the paint goes on, I love the different techniques you can use. And if you are new into the hobby, buy one. <laughs> Just buy one, get used to it and your painting will be fantastic, I promise you. Um, yeah, so I decided to paint it red because with Canicus and Mars. Um, so I go in with the purple, I'm trying this new green stuff, red kit. So I just build it up, so build the tones up. So I've got purple, dark red, and get lighter and lighter. decided to do a couple of land raiders that I had left over as well because I love epic and I just wanted a bit of contrast so I definitely definitely thought let's do them yellow I could have done them blue um, but I thought yellow was stand out more So, um, bit of edge highlighting on there. was I'm going to do the Martian red base and I know it's a red train and it doesn't contrast as much but it just felt right. So yeah a bit of dry brushing, edge highlighting, wash the um, lead belcher with black, bring it to base the tracks silver work them with a wash dry brush the rocks then it's on to the basing so I got my keep game scenics base ready 
pop that in a tub and then there was the Martian sand as well so I just use a mix use a fast drain adhesive I use Luke's stuff all the time not only because he's from Yorkshire and he lives quite close um, but the fact it's really really consistent it's quality stuff it dries rock solid so yeah put the base ready down I've put far too much glue on scatter a few rocks and colour everything in. I added a couple of pipes to this with a bit of Nurgle rock just to give that green and a bit of contrast um, after I've sprinkled all this on just to make it look fantastic. Tidy round. Um, I think I used a bit of alcohol, give it a spray. Um, oh no, a bit of super glue that one. Just use super glue to hold it down. Um, Super glue to hold it down, a bit more base ready, rub it in with my hand, wipe everything off. And just to make the line seamless, again, bit of the base ready, sprinkle it on. There you go. Can you hear my cat in the background? Bit of... And ready for the grand reveal. Hi, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please. It's a bit of a longer video, but I'm sure you'll love it. Thanks for watching.